Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video. Well, guess what? It is time. 2021, it's fall, and we're going to take the Ego Select Cut 2020 model. We're going to suck up some leaves, and we're going to see how it does versus the Ego 2021 model, Ego Select Cut XP. Now, this one's got a stronger motor. It's got more torque. And it comes with a high lift blade. Let's check this out. Let's see how it does. So as you can see, I'm going to be starting off today with the 2020 and 2021 models. But later on in the video, stay tuned. As you can see from this picture, I am going to be also challenging the Select Cut XP with the high lift blade by trying to clean up a backyard that is so full of leaves, it's ridiculous. So let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, the batteries are out of the mowers. I'm going to go ahead and turn them up so you can see what blades installed. Now on the select cut, XP, we've got the high lift blade installed. There you go. Now, on the select cut, I left the mulching blade. I did not install a high lift blade. I wanted to kind of compare, you know, someone using the select cut with a mulching blade so you can see the difference. Now, the select cut XP should really, really do a great job. We'll find out. Let me go ahead and put the batteries in. These are 7.5 amp hour batteries. They're fully charged and that won't really matter. But just showing you that, let's go ahead and throw the next one in to the select cut. And let's get this party started. All right, we're going to start off on a five and then go down to a four. We want to initially see what we can suck up. Again, this is the 2020 select cut with the mulching blade. Now let's go ahead and do the Select Cut XP 2021 model. Let's make sure we're on a five. Again, we're just doing one corner for now. Now let's take a quick comparison um, and then we're going to drop it to a four and do the next section. But, you know, start off here with the uh, select cut, drop it down a little bit. Um, I do see, you know, a lot of chopped up leaves on the ground. Okay, again, this is a really hard test because, you know, what the mulching blade will do versus the high lift blade. But suction wise, that is the story to tell. All right. So, you know, and then we'll take a look at the Select Cut XP. All right, let's take a look at the Select Cut XP. 
Definitely looks cleaner here in the front. All right, we do have some broken up leaves. And again, we went over this twice, right? We went straight, got more here and more here. Went to the fence and pulled ourselves back. And uh, I would say the Select Cut XP does look a little better. I mean, a little better. All right, so let's take a look at the big picture again. All right, and now let's drop it to a four. Okay, let's drop the Select Cut XP to a four. And then after that, we'll simply use the mowers to clean up the mess on each side. And then we'll do a last comparison. So let's move this over to the main pile here. Turn it on. Okay, and you know, again, if I look here at the select cut, I do see, again, some leaves kind of just chopped up into the ground. You know, the hard stuff, right? The real hard stuff, you need that really crazy suction in the high lift blade. You know, and again, does that actually make a difference comparing the 2020 to the 2021? Now let's go back here, look at the big picture. Let's go on and look at the Select Cut XP. All right, looks a little cleaner. Again, it's got some stuff going on, but to me, it just looks a little cleaner. That suction in the high lift plate's gotta help. And what we'll do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and mow each section completely, and then we'll look at it one final time. Let's look at the bigger picture of the Select Cut. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and mow up. There's room in the bag, and that's important. That'll affect suction. So you know what? Let me take and empty the bags.
All right, guys, so the center I left alone. Kept the cans where they were, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, it's a little better. I'm not going to say it's a lot better. I will say it is a little better with the Select Cut XP. Now, with a high lift blade and that extra torque and stronger motor, um, here's, and don't look at the leaves on the right because those were kind of in the center. I left those alone. So it didn't get this stuff. You know, and then it got it pushed that up towards the end, which makes sense. Now let's take a look at the Select Cut 2020, right? So again, you know, this stuff here, it just couldn't get up, you know, and uh, honestly, some of that might have been there, you know, before I laid the leaves down. So just keep that in mind. I'm just being honest with you. Um, but very close, very close, you know, left some stuff here, pushed some towards the end. I would have to say... You don't have to run to the store to get the 2156 SP. If you're saving, you know, about 200 bucks or so, and you want to get the 2135 SP, which is a 21, uh, the, the 2020 model, you know, it comes with a 7.5 amp hour battery. Now, if you want the 10 amp hour battery, a faster charger, more torque, and an improved motor, and get the Select Cut XP. Hey guys, if you're really enjoying this video, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. Brooklyn and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I found another area with a ton of leaves for this beast. What I'm gonna do in this segment is I am actually going to put this on three settings. I'm going to start off at five. I'm going to bring it down to four. And then I'll go down to three. So you can see what this does suction-wise with the high lift blade. Again, don't forget the high lift blade is on. Now the battery is not in there, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this upside down. So you can actually see that high lift blade is installed and ready to go. All right. So let's see what happens here. We'll start off, um, again, here's the big picture of this section. You know, and obviously that, that section's really nice too. But here's this section here, all right? And then we'll see what it looks like afterwards uh, cleaned up. All right, let's drop this to the four. All right. Let's drop it to the three. guys so this lawn that I am sucking up leaves on is really not a full thick lawn and realistically at level five or level three you're really not going to see a big difference um, you know the lower you adjust the blade the more it's going to cut your grass and suck up leaves but you know no big deal here um, very nice let me go ahead and clean up and uh, show you what this all looks like afterwards. Again, I'm gonna get this whole back section here.
All right, guys, so what a difference, huh? I mean, realistically, just doing that section, you know, look at that. I mean, it, it sucked up really good. You got all your big leaves and, uh, you know, so you can use your lawnmower as a leaf vacuum. Why go out and buy another tool? I sharpen my blades, I clean my machine, but at the end of the day, think about that. You can use your lawnmower, the Ego Select Cut XP with a high lift blade as a leaf vac to help you in the fall, all right? Definitely a really nice machine all around. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.